So we're seeing this tie up between broadcasters. Only now, why all of a sudden feeling the pressure from an uh, ad environment that's been changing and the TV ad environment has been under pressure for some time? That's right. For the longest time of the past decade, we've seen online ads take away from print. So newspapers, magazines, billboards. Right now, we're finally starting to see those take away from TV for the first time, as you said. So we're really hitting a tipping point where these TV broadcasters are saying, geez, we've got to do something to react here. And so what are they trying to do? They're trying to provide better data to their clients, the right. advertisers, essentially. So they're trying to compete with what Google and Facebook, um, YouTube can do, which is to provide targeted ads. They get all this rich information coming from the users of their services. And TV broadcasters are finally saying, we've got that information too. We've got web-enabled TVs, set-top boxes that can gather information about demographics, what people are watching and when. And so in partnering up, they plan to deliver more scale, so yeah. more volume of, of customers, of subscribers that advertisers can sell to. And as we see these cooperative arrangements in Germany, in France, in the United Kingdom, it then begs the question as to whether you're going to start to see real consolidation, real mergers taking place, because the, the, the industry that we're talking about here is becoming incredibly global, isn't it? It's not now a domestic uh, broadcasting environment. You can get US shows via the internet incredibly easily around Europe. That's right. You're seeing, you're seeing tie-ups in the US. I mean, it's an incredibly active M&A landscape in media and telecoms. You're not seeing so much in Europe, but it begs the question. Um, in the past, we've seen speculation around whether the parent company of Virgin Media, Liberty Global, would go after ITV. I mean, that would be marrying up content providers to, to offer a bigger platform for advertisers. Mm. Uh, what are the broadcasters doing beyond these advertising alliances then to try and stay ahead here? Because they've also always argued that, you know, maybe all the, all the ad revenue that's spent online, maybe it doesn't actually go to the eyeballs of all the people that it supposedly does. That's right. In addition to the ad spending going online, what's happening is the online players are starting to compete head to head with with the uh, TV guys. So you're seeing, you know, Amazon get into tennis sports rights. You're seeing Twitter go after sports rights in the U.S. And so, what these TV broadcasters have to do is prove that their content is is still king. Mm -hmm. So you know whether it's adding um, adding to live broadcasts of sports okay. or investing in studio production.